Mexico City, federal prosecutors said Friday they have arrested the Attorney General in Mexico's previous administration on charges he committed abuses in the investigation of the 2014 disappearances of 43 students from a radical teacher college. Prosecutors also announced they had issued arrest warrants in the case against 20 army soldiers and officers, 5 local officials, 33 local police officers and 11 state police, as well as 14 gang members. The roundup included the first arrest of a former attorney general in recent history, and one of the biggest mass arrests ever by civilian prosecutors of Mexican army soldiers. Jesus Mourinho Caram served as Attorney General from 2012 to 2015, under then-President Enrique Peña Nieto. The office of the current Attorney General, Alejandro Gertz Monero, said Mourinho Caram was charged with torture, official misconduct and forced disappearance. In 2020, Gertz Monero said Marie Yocaro had been implicated in orchestrating a massive media trick and leading a generalized cover-up in the case. What's everyone talking about? Sign up for our trending newsletter to get the latest news of the day in Finland. Prime Minister takes drug test as populist ponders whether she has a right to party The arrest came a day after a commission set up to determine what happened said the army bore at least partial responsibility in the cast. It said a soldier had infiltrated the student group involved and the army didn't stop the abductions even though it knew what was happening. Corrupt local police, other security forces and members of a drug gang abducted the students in the city of Iguala in Guerrero State, although the motive remains unclear eight years later. Their bodies have never been found, though fragments of burned bone have been matched to three of the students. Marie Yocaram, under pressure to quickly solve the case, announced in 2014 that the students had been killed and their bodies burned at a garbage dump by members of a drug gang. He called that hypothesis the historic truth. 2014, burned bodies likely of 43 missing students in Mexico but the investigation included instances of torture, improper arrest and mishandling of evidence that has since allowed most of the directly implicated gang members to walk free.